How often do we stop to ponder how society functions or why it operates the way it does? How do we navigate the intricate web of social interactions and societal structures that shape our lives? These questions lie at the heart of sociology, a discipline that seeks to uncover the complex dynamics of our social world. Today, we delve into three key sociological paradigms, structural functionalism, conflict theory, and symbolic interactionism. First off, we explore structural functionalism, a paradigm that perceives society as a complex system with interrelated parts working together for the common good. It's a bit like viewing society as a well-oiled machine, each part fulfilling a necessary role to maintain harmony and stability. Education, for example, serves to equip individuals with knowledge and skills, while the legal system enforces laws to maintain order. Structural functionalism focuses on the ways in which society's components work together, promoting consensus and stability. However, not all sociologists agree with this harmonious view of society. Enter conflict theory, a paradigm that sees society not as a unified system, but as a hotbed of competition and conflict. It argues that social order is maintained not by shared values, but by the dominant groups imposing their will on the less powerful. Using our previous examples, conflict theorists might argue that educational systems often perpetuate inequalities, and legal systems can disproportionately target certain groups. Conflict theory highlights the power dynamics and inequalities that structural functionalism might overlook. Our third stop on this sociological journey brings us to symbolic interactionism. This paradigm shifts the focus from large-scale structures and conflicts to the small-scale, everyday interactions between individuals. It's all about how we use symbols, like language and gestures, to create and share meaning. For instance, a simple wave of the hand can signify a greeting, a farewell, or a sign of victory, depending on the context. Symbolic interactionism reminds us that our daily interactions are the building blocks of larger social structures. To recap, structural functionalism views society as a complex system working together for the common good. Conflict theory, on the other hand, sees society as a battleground of competing interests, where power dynamics and inequality are prevalent. Lastly, symbolic interactionism zooms in on the everyday interactions and symbols that construct our social world. Each of these paradigms offers a unique lens through which to view society, highlighting different aspects of our social world. They remind us that society is a complex entity, shaped by large structures, power dynamics, and everyday interactions. So, the next time you find yourself pondering how society works, or why it functions the way it does, remember these paradigms and you might just find your answer.